Composable banking is a really fantastic concept. I love, uh, I love the terminology and it's very relevant, especially in the India market, where actually we're redefining banking products. I think for us, composable banking is how we take the different elements of a banking platform and sort of break them down and reassemble them into products that suit our customers in, in a better way. It seems like the obvious choice to be able to use all these experts but in one place where it's simple to see all of your information. So composable banking, for me, that translates into microservices, into I need each component of my system to do one thing and one thing well. I can just plug APIs into it. I can connect to the rest of my system, extend the functionality from there, and it just works out of the box like that. It's built for that. For us in Android, this is composable banking means the ability to put, to put pieces together, right? So to be able to have tailored solution depending on specific market requirements. So it's the ability of um, personalizing or defining how the, the, the banking solution um, adjusts to the specific market uh, specification. But at the same time for us is uh, having the ability to uh, introduce changes in a really fast manner. I realize that the business, like a human value, is even bigger. So it gives me as a manager flexibility to change something. So I'm not anymore locked to decision I made in the past. I can, at any moment in time, I can decide, okay, we made a mistake here. So we want to change this component and let's say buy another one from the vendor or build it ourselves. If you look at the providers such as Mambo, it doesn't try to solve everything with its functionality. It addresses a specific core banking back office technology and then the partners are doing the rest. So composable banking is the way to go.